Hey guys, this is Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today we're gonna to be doing a 10 minute beginner workout, complete core with no equipment necessary. So you guys can do this right from the comfort of your own home. So the workout's gonna consist of six exercises that we're gonna circuit through two rounds. There will be a one minute rest once we get through the six exercises, and then we're gonna come back through again one more time. So I did say it's beginner to intermediate, but you can also make it advanced if you add another round or two even, so you're doing about four rounds, and it might be about a 20 minute workout at that point in time. So our goal is to keep our workouts very succinct and effective at the same time. So here's the rundown of today's workout. Alright guys, so get ready. Each round is going to be a 30 second interval with a 5 second transition in between. The timer will be in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Ready? And here we go, supine low hold. What you want to focus on here is keeping your shoulder blades down and back, pulling into the mat the whole time. The abdomen are engaged and the glutes are flexing with the quads flexing on the extending leg. Hover the leg just above the mat lightly tapping the mat every so often to make sure that you're staying really low on it. And time, transition to the other side. Reset the shoulders, reset the abs, get the glutes flexing, get the quads flexing. Hold tight. Five seconds, keep holding. Good. Now we're transitioning to the dead bug position. Roll the shoulder blades down and back into the mat once again. This time pull your low back flat to the mat. So we're using the abs to press the low back in. And then I'm keeping the knees bent at 90 degrees with the hips at 90 degrees. Want to make sure that it should feel like the shins could balance a stick across them. Five seconds, keep holding those arms as straight as you can with those parallel palms. Good. Now we're transitioning to a side plank here. Extend the arm, rotating the elbow in toward the rib cage. I'm going to make sure that shoulders relaxed on that side. I'm pulling my hips away from the floor with my obliques. My abs are engaged, my glutes are engaged. Both feet are touching, but I'm pulling my knees away from one another here. That's helping engage all three gluteal muscles. And switching sides here. Once again, setting the arm, making sure the elbow rotates in toward my rib cage. That's gonna load the back side of my shoulder and the armpit. I wanna feel tension all the way from the ribs down into the obliques just above the pelvis. Keep pulling those knees apart, keep driving the hips forward from the glutes. Abs stay engaged. There should be a nice straight line from my shoulder all the way through my knee here. Great job. Next, we're transitioning to the glute bridge. Pull those heels in tight to your butt as close as possible. Roll those shoulder blades down and back. Imprint your back to the mat really quickly before you hip up in this position. Focus on the glutes driving the hips high. So my glutes work in two ways here, pulling the knees apart wide from one another and pressing the hips up toward the ceiling. Keep the abs engaged. Alright, transitioning to the kneeling hip thrust. We have two exercises left here. 
Sit to your heels with the toes tucked under. Drive up once again, focusing on quads and glutes flexing as you lean back. Keep the shoulder blades pulling toward one another and the abs engaged. We're focusing on bracing the spinal column well here, not arching the back as you lean back, but forming a nice solid structure from the quads, glutes, abs, and upper back. last one on this round is the cobra hold come down to your belly start by flexing your glutes as tight as possible so it should feel like you're pressing your pelvis tight to the mat keep your elbows down and back rolling your shoulder blades together and your forearms should kind of make a pillar to help yourself press away from the floor keep the neck in a neutral position making sure that you're not pulling back from the back of the head but keeping the chin kind of tucked in toward the neck All right, great job. One round down, take a minute to rest here, and then we're gonna come back for round number two. I'll see you guys soon. Get ready, round two is coming up. We're gonna be starting off with the supine low hold once again, so lying on the back. Roll those shoulder blades down and back into the mat, get the abs engaged, get the glutes engaged, and hover that leg with the toes pointing away just over the mat. Lightly tapping the mat every so often, once again checking the height of the heel, making sure it's just above that mat. job reset and switch legs roll the shoulder blades down and back into the mat glutes are flexing so I have a hard butt against the floor right now my stomach's flexing my quads are tight on the leg that I'm holding out keep it hovering low seconds left hold tight three two one and we're transitioning to the dead bug now once again rolling the shoulder blades down into the mat with the arms extended palms parallel I'm pulling my low back flat to the mat using my abdomen my knees are at 90 degrees my hips are at 90 degrees so it's a nice level surface across from shin to shin balancing the stick job now we're transitioning to that bent knee side plank plant the arm below the shoulder rotate the elbows toward the ribs here shoulder blades are pulling back and together so I'm focusing on my upper back holding me here not my neck there shouldn't be any pressure in the shoulder itself my abs are tight my glutes are tight I'm pushing the hips forward from my butt and I'm pulling the knees apart from my butt both those actions happening at the same time switching sides set the arm well get the glutes engaged get the abs engaged focus on the upper back those are the three main areas we're going to be working on glutes abs and upper back hold tight
awesome job. We're bringing the back back to the mat, going up for the glute bridge. Pull those heels tight to the glutes. Roll the shoulder blades down and back, get the arms extending, so we're straightening out the elbow, but keeping the shoulder blades pulling back into the mat the whole time. I'm focusing on the drive from my glutes, pushing my hips, my pelvis, toward the ceiling. The knees are pulling apart from one another. Imagine a rubber band from knee to knee, and you're trying to stretch that rubber band. Keep the abs engaging some. Focus on that tension as you hold the position. Great job. Transitioning to the kneeling hip thrust. Tuck those toes underneath, sit to the heels. Drive up, initiating the movement from the quads and then adding in the glutes as you get to that leaning position. Once again, we're doing a low limbo here. So we got the quads, the glutes, the abs, and the upper back all engaged, forming a nice solid pillar, making a straight line from the shoulder all the way through to the knee. And the last exercise, the cobra hold once again. We're on the belly, flex the glutes, pushing your pelvis into the mat. Imagine you're trying to crush the mat with your hips. Pull the shoulder blades down and back. Keep those elbows down by the rib cage there. We're off the forearm some. And we're making a nice solid structure using the musculature all the way along the spinal column. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. Great job, guys.